Chocolate Ballerina Company is making history this spring. The service organization supports the hidden talents of artists of color in the Philadelphia area. And in June, the company is presenting the first all black and brown production of the classic ballet Swan Lake. Joining me live this morning is Chanel Holland Pierre, the founder of Chocolate Ballerina Company. So excited to have you, Chanel. Thanks so much for being on our show. Hi, Jan. I am so excited to be here. We are setting history with this amazing premiere, June 4th. It's an exciting time. So tell us what can people expect from the upcoming performance? People can expect to be inspired, influenced, and impacted based on this performance. We have a lot of amazing dancers who have committed themselves ever since January to put this production in place. We have dancers from Washington and Maryland and Philadelphia and Houston. The overall project has brought a lot of dancers of color together to set the bar for historical events. Bringing in so many dancers, that's incredible. But Chanel, take us back. How did you come up with the idea for Chocolate Ballerina Company? And then how have you seen it impact our community? I started Chocolate Ballerina Company because I really wanted to see more black and brown dancers on stage dancing traditional ballet, classical ballet. They shared the same stories when it came to the struggle of being accepted into the ballet world. So I wanted to change that. And out of that, we have created something really great and impactful to not only the, not only the youth, but the people in the community. How have you personally seen this impact dancers of color? It has changed their lives. They believe that they can be and will be seen as not just amazing dance artists, but accepted. And they've been able to afford professional training and have been able to show their talent, not only to where they are in the community, but to the world. People are seeing them as more than just color. They're seeing them as art. So that's what Chocolate Ballerina Company is doing for all of not only just brown and black dancers, but underserved communities. We're putting it in their lives to be not only affordable, but accessible and something that they know that they can leave their print on the world. This is really opening up opportunities, and not only do you have Swan Lake coming up, but you offer much more than that. We understand you offer classes as well. How can people get involved? People can tune into our website, www.chocolateballerinacompany.com. We have our new premiere of our free ballet classes at Water Tower Recreation Center, which starts June 9th all the way through December. So we're offering free ballet classes along with free dance attire and free professional training from world premier choreographers. So we're uh, providing an avenue of success for the dancers in the community. Yeah, wow, incredible accessibility. That's where it starts first and foremost and world-class training at that. Incredible stuff, Chanel. Thanks so much for being on our show with us this morning. Thank you so much, Dan, and we look forward to seeing everyone in the theater June 4th at the Independence Sea Museum. We know it's going to be a great show, Chanel. Thank you. Black Swan, a Swan Lake premiere, will make its world premiere at Philadelphia's Independence Seaport Museum Theater. The show is on Sunday, June 4th at 1.30 p.m. You heard Chanel say it right there. Tickets are on sale right now on Chocolate Ballerina Company's website.